The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. People all over the country are upset with Netflix and their new movie called Cuties. They say it's disgusting and it could open the door to, to individuals who are looking to take advantage of children. And we discuss this with our panel today. Okay, guys, you saw the trailer, the preview, and the controversy about Cuties that's set to air in September, early September, on Netflix. A lot of people say they, they just don't feel comfortable with the movie. Uh, I think it's a, a French movie that they're airing, and it may be subtitled. Your thoughts on seeing the artwork for the poster, Shanita, and the subject matter of young girls, I think 11 years old, twerking and a twerk troupe and a twerking contest. Vile, vulgar, distasteful, inappropriate, flat out disgusting. Netflix messed up. Aside from the fact that they're using an 11 year old African American or black girl uh, to portray this role, I think is absolutely ridiculous with all of the sex, tra sex trafficking that we've experienced. Um, children may view this. You know, I understand that it's about a family, a dysfunctional family, and she's reaching out to these middle school friends or the cool girls in school to become a part of their dance team. But the trailer and the, the poster that they use is totally unacceptable. It's offensive. Do you, know, do you realize how prominent pedophilia is in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how many people will view this that have these kinds of thoughts and think that it's okay because Netflix put it out? Absolutely not. Not acceptable. Eduardo, let's bring you in on this conversation. You have a history of protecting children, specifically in the Catholic Church. Now we see this from Netflix, and Netflix has already apologized for the uh, cover art. Uh, do you think this movie should be pulled? What? I definitely think it needs to be pulled and refigured tremendously because number one, when you have a uh, scantily clad young ladies or young girls in poses where they're looking over their shoulders, all that is is suggesting something. And we know from our experience with pedophiles and child abusers that most of the time when these abusers begin, one of the first things they do is they go on the internet and they look for pictures of children. Mm -hmm. And these types of things tend to be the first things that come up. And my thing is, who exactly is this director trying to target with this film, Mignons? Uh, they're going directly to the pedophiles. And also, the Catholic Church has come out with a statement but the Catholic Church is the last, they have zero authority on morality right now because of all the child abuse that they have going on. So I think that they definitely need to clean up their own house before they start judging others. Nick Woody, when you take a look at this, and there's already been an online campaign, hashtag save our children, hashtag cancel Netflix. Your thoughts on this? Well, I think it's unfortunate in that the French Senegalese director of the documentary, uh, she stated that her, her inspiration for, for creating this film in the first place is that she was at a family <laughs> gathering and there was a performance put on by young girls mm -hmm. and the performance that was put on was really age inappropriate. And it spurred her to explore you know, what is happening here? How is social media creating a sort of group think? How is social media actually pressuring kids to abandon their innocence in a way? And the film received critical praise. It debuted at Sundance. There was no marketing for that. It actually received a Critics' Choice Award at Sundance mm -hmm. because of the careful and rigorous handling of the material. Now, so what if, I think are was, we not getting the full picture? Or are we just running? Uh, ahead of ourselves when we see the artwork, the poster, and how Netflix marketed. Are we not getting what's really in the movie? 
I think it's really unfortunate that Netflix chose to market it this way, right? Because now that you have that context that in it, actually people signing the petition and the director of the documentary have the same concerns, right? But Netflix's handling of this, as Chinita said earlier, it seems to be ignorant of the issues around child pornography, online pedophilia, and the real issues that are happening with the dark web, with the internet, and with normalizing these kinds of images and these kinds of thoughts. You know, Netflix I mean, had, had such a faux pas here that they may need to pull the film and release it in a different way at a later date, which is unfortunate for the filmmaker, but the damage has been done. And Nick, let me get back to the point I was trying to make earlier. Are we saying that there is a message in the movie that says, don't do this, don't allow your children to become this, or is it what we think it is? Well, the film looks at the pressures that a young girl, a young person experiences uh, when they are trying to fit in, when they're wanting to get involved with, say, a, you know, a fairly common activity for young girls, which is dancing, a dance troupe. And what is going on in terms of technology, in terms of social media, that is causing young girls to feel this pressure to where they feel like they have to behave this way and they have to appeal to adults this way in order to be accepted. Um, so I think it does bring up some good points. And I think that, you know, the controversy is bringing attention to something that is a chronic problem. Uh, Shanita, and we'll give you the last word. We have about 20 seconds left. Did Netflix totally drop the ball here? They totally dropped the ball. The, the program itself, the movie itself, is about the dysfunction of a family that a, a young girl is experiencing. But the poster is disgusting as it sexualizes an 11-year-old for the viewing pleasures of pedophiles mm -hmm. and also negatively influences our children. Netflix has commented on the film saying we're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we use for cuties. It was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film, which won an award at Sundance. We've now updated the pictures and description. And of course, the movie is set to be released on Netflix on September 9th. We will see if that will happen.